Hey my YouTube friends, welcome back. This is a base model Mac Mini M4. It has 16 gigabytes of unified memory and it has a 256 gigabytes of SSD. It currently sells at $599 in Apple's website. And if you're looking this somewhere else like Best Buy or other retailers, you might also get several bucks of discount, which makes this really a good deal. And some of the reviewers even say this is the best attack you can buy with the amount of money. However, the biggest issue with this configuration is that it only has 256 gigabytes of SSD. And in 2025, in my opinion, nobody deserves 256 gigabytes of SSD with such a powerful CPU and memory combo. And of course, you can say uh, you can use a external SSD like USB 4 SSD that has a like large size SSD inside. But the drawback, the disadvantages of the solution is pretty obvious. If you look at uh, Apple's official website, uh, upgrading to 512 gigabytes of SSD costs additional $200. Upgrade to one terabyte additional $200. And to two terabytes SSD, it's additional $400. So if you were to upgrade the 256 SSDs from the base model to two terabyte, it'll cost you additional $800. And that is an insane amount of money considering how cheap SSDs are selling for PCs. And of course you can argue that this is a different, uh, this is not Apple to Apple comparison. Well, still, I think Apple's strategy is to like lure you in with the super good price uh, performance ratio pro entry level product, like the base model M4 uh, Mac Mini. And if ever you want to like upgrade a little bit on, either on the memory or on the SSD, you pay big dollars for the actual performance or uh, SSD size you gain. Well, if you search online, you probably are going to get some uh, other sources that selling the Mac Mini M4 Mac Mini compatible SSD. In this case, in Taobao, one of the Chinese online merchandise website. If you look at the price for one terabyte SSD that Mac Mini comparable, it sells for 780 RMB, that equivalent to about $100. And for two terabyte, it sells for 1,380 RMB, that's less than $200. So it's really attempting to upgrade with those like third party solutions, like less than $200 to two terabyte versus $800 on uh, Apple's official channel. The differences are so dramatic that I wanna try and let you know if that's a good option. I think in 2025 with such a great uh, small PCs, this machine, I really don't want to like be limited on the 256 gigabytes of SSD. I got this compatible SSD from Taobao with less than $200. So I got this before the whole tariff situation, but I think uh, this is still on the exemption merchants list that this is a uh, computer part. So hopefully we're still gonna get these in the future, but at least before May, you can still use the uh, uh, small package tax exemption or tariff exemption. This is the SSD. I can see two uh, memory chips on both sides. And also in the box, it gives me a few tools. I guess this one is to use to like pop the uh, Mac mini open after we unscrew the screws in the device. A few uh, screw headers here help you opening and assemble the Mac mini back. All right, so the next thing is that's pop open this beauty to try to replace the SSD with the larger one, the two terabyte SSD. Before that, I did some speed test on the original 256 gigabytes of SSD speed test. It's not particularly fast. I mean, it's fast, it's decently fast. Uh, we can compare if this new one, the one I got from, uh, from the third party, works better and has a faster reading or writing speed than the original one. You need an additional tool to like pop this cover open and you should do it really careful. Otherwise, you're almost definitely gonna damage the surface of this machine. Pop these locks open. When it comes near the power button, be really careful that it's still attached. So be careful here. Be really careful, okay? Be really careful to detach this from here.
Okay, so I carefully removed the fan here. It's still connected. I intended not to like pull this off here. Uh, I'll just carefully leave it here. And the other side of the cover is still here, but we already can see the SSD right here connected to the board. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to carefully pull this out. Use another uh, different size of screwdriver here. This is the largest one, just to unscrew the SSDs. Okay, so this is taken off. This is the original uh, 256 gigabytes of SSD here. Let me just uh, quickly compare these two. This third party one is not that off. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put this one back into the Mac Mini. Okay, the last step is to reattach the power button to here. Really slow and careful because it's super fragile. Okay, so now the SSD replacement is done and the final step is to recover the system on this Mac Mini. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hold this power up button here and connect the power cord here. What we want to do is that um, we want to enter the DFU mode of the Mac Mini. And if you're seeing this, um, and if you're seeing this indicator here, this LED flashing in orange, that means you're entering the DFE mode. Okay, next, connect this uh, USB 4 cable here to the port with the lightning bolt here indicated. And also the other side connected to your other Mac device. In this case, I'm going to connect it to my uh, MacBook. You should be seeing something here on the screen, a lot of that. It gives you the option to restore Mac. Okay, this is gonna take a little while. We're gonna come back to verify our SSD re replacement and also to test the new SSD speed. All right, it does not take too long for the system recovery to complete. Now you can see the system actually starts to recognize the two terabytes SSD that we upgraded from the original one. And I also did some like speed tests for the new and the original SSD. As you can see, we have pretty good test results uh, in terms of reading and writing, especially writing. We have significant improvement in terms of like writing speed in the new SSD. So the conclusion is that it's not very hard for you to upgrade to this uh, new SSD. It does not require too much of a DIY ability. And 
both the hardware replacement as well as the system recovery are relatively easy to manage. So I encourage you, if you think 16 gigabytes of unified memory is enough for you, for your use case, I encourage you to buy the base model, the 599 base model, sometimes with even more discount, and to buy a separate SSD, one terabyte or two terabyte with a fraction of the, the money that you, you're gonna pay to Apple if you were to upgrade the SSD from them. And you can just follow this video to do the SSD upgrade. There's a few details you need to pay attention to not to like damage the cable or the socket. But other than that, you're good. All right, that's everything I wanna share in this video. If you like the content, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.